We'll be starting at 10. Be back shortly on YouTube. Welcome everyone to YouTube Live. Great. We're going to look at things like how sitting and standing too much tighten up our bodies and how yoga can make us feel a lot better. So do me a favor, if you would, if you like class and you want to continue finding out when I'm giving yoga classes, please subscribe. Thank you. Be back shortly. Good morning. It's yoga time. And you're asking, why do I have a chair? Well, I'm starting a tad early. So first I can sit and quiet my mind. That's always a good thing to do. Sitting with your feet on the floor and your hands on your thighs. Focusing your attention just six inches above the top of your head. It's quiet up there. COVID, all the other political issues, all of the world issues, all the family issues aren't there. Six inches above the top of our heads. Let's focus up there quietly. You can sit on your mat, you can sit on a chair. Simply let a flow of crystal white light flow into the center of your brain, right into the forebrain, center of your brain, and the old brain. And feel the neurons and neural pathways. We talk about them in this class a lot. They get tense, they get tight, they get obsessed, they get locked onto some topic or issue or worry or anxiety or fear. So think of that light flowing into all the neurons and neural pathways in your forebrain. And breathe, relax. Let each of them relax. The lists, the have tos, the fears, the worries aren't necessary to deal with right now. And let that light flow into the center of your brain, all the neurons and neural pathways. Let them quiet and soften and still. You can feel if you focus and become aware of the sensations in your brain. Feel it ping-ponging around and then let it still, slowly softening. And let the light flow into the old brain at the base of your skull. And suddenly that brain is aware that it doesn't have to be tense or tight are on guard, that for this next hour or so together, it can relax. It doesn't have to be mindful of anything, but the slow, even flow of your brain. And let's also take that beautiful crystal white light down into your heart. Let's start our yoga today, letting our heart relax. I'm sure every one of our hearts is filled with a wide variety of sensations, scars, old wounds, current and worries and sadnesses and griefs and loss and happiness and joy and seeking the happiness 
and seeking the peace and the joy. So let that light move knowingly around throughout your heart. No judgments, we're all human. Sometimes the rage or the resentments or the self-criticisms are hard to let go and our heart takes them on. So let them relax. Let your heart, as you inhale deeply into your heart, and on the exhale, let your heart open and release all those uncomfortable feelings for the time we are together. And with that as our beginning today, we're going to look at that this is a time when many of us are sitting a lot, either in front of the TV, the computer, reading. We just can't jump in our cars and go. But what that does is it shortens these little muscles, our adductors. It shortens these muscles and they get tight. When you stand up, you can feel, ooh, maybe your hips hurt because of that same tightness. And also the back has rounded, has lost its strength. Because when we sit, we can let go. And so our shoulders and neck can be more sore. Oh, because we sat rounded. Oh. So we're going to work from the chair to start. You have a chair handy. See if you can grab one. When you're sitting around a lot, it's so important to take the time at some point to sit up on those sits bones, put your feet on the floor, put one hand across, one hand to the side, inhale up and twist. Inhale. Up, exhale, rotate. Just soft, little rotations, multiple times a day. We can inhale the arms up. We can do a reach and release, reach and release, reach and release, reach. Inhale up. We can have one hand in front, one hand back. Gauge those abdominals, inhale up. Keep those abdominals keeping you lifted. Inhale up and sit towards the front of your chair and stick those heels out. Interlace your fingers. I'll move back a little so it's easier to see. Inhale down the legs and inhale up. And exhale round forward. And as you inhale, come up and gauge your abs. Lift your sternum. Open your shoulders, engage your abdominals, exhale forward again. Inhale up, rounding one vertebra at a time. Zip the abdominals up, open the shoulders, and relax, and roll the head. This is good actions to do in the other way. Every hour, if you can think of it, small things that help when we sit. Good. Let's stand. And now let's move forward into our mat. And rather than sit for the moment, let's stand and rock forward and back, forward and back. Bring those toes in. Press the hips forward. Rotate them out by squeezing your glutes, pulling up on your thighs. Roll the shoulders. Backward. And roll them forward. If you're standing a lot, and we're not using our abs, upper back, shoulders, neck, everything gets heavy and tired. So important to inhale up. Again, let's reach. Exhale. Especially for instance, for our medical professionals who are working these horrendous hours. Anyone who works on your feet, inhale up and gently arch back. Tighten your glutes, squeeze your rear end, and use your abs out. So important to tighten 
and hold. So when you come up, you're not straining in the low back. The glutes tighten and the abs support that low back, which can get so tired from being on our feet. Let's inhale up, and then we need to stretch the sides. Good. And the side of the neck may want to let go as well. You might feel the stretch, tightness, maybe a little discomfort. Breathe into it. And exhale, let something draw your left arm towards the floor. Good. Now engage all these abdominals, especially on the right side. Inhale and up. And exhale to the right. Breathe <coughs> into the left side of your neck. Press that left foot into the floor. Really have a good, solid grip on the floor. Use these abdominals. Inhale up. Bend your knees straight ahead and up the ankles. And the feet get very tired when we stand even or sit. Sometimes if you're sitting a long time, your feet can hurt when you get up. Or if you're standing. So just engage your abs. Bend into the ankles. Inhale up. Bend into the ankles. Inhale. Exhale. We're not doing a full chair. We're just working those ankles. Roll the shoulders again. Engage those abs. Keep them working. It's the only thing moving are your shoulders. Good. Now, we don't often know that we get tight in all these body muscles. So moving the rib cage. Let's take the feet a little bit apart. You can even bend the knee. No, it's better to have straight. Side, side. See if you can move that rib cage. Oh, that releases tension in your back. Good. Take your ribs forward, chest forward, round it back. Chest forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Notice I open my shoulders, round the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, arch the back. Inhale, round. Exhale, arch. Tailbone, crown of the head up. Inhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. All the way up. Good. Now, also, these adductors, these Ten, these muscles, they get tight. So let's put one foot back, one foot forward, and lean. We, can, we do this on the floor a lot, but you can also do it standing. If you're at work and you have to stand, or if you just got up off the couch, do a little, and you can always use a wall to support you if you feel like your thigh isn't strong. Good. Let's come straight ahead. Right foot out. Both feet in this direction. Then push forward with your hips. Get a stretch. Breathe. Let's come back up. Feet outside. Let's bring our feet in. Let's rock that pelvis. Now if we loosen it up in here, now we want to work the hip joints. Especially if you've been sitting. And sometimes even standing. It just feels... Good to loosen up that low back and those hip joints. Take all the stress and circle them slowly. Go full range, as far around as you can. You'll feel, perhaps, as you come forward, a little stretch in here. Good. And the other way, breathing nice and exhale. And exhale. Good. Down the leg. Use these abs. Inhale up. Exhale down the leg. Inhale up. And now let's take the gauge. As soon as I lift the arms, the abdominal zip because I don't want to be lifting with my traps. I'm going to be holding my body strong with my abdominals. Glutes squeeze a little. Thighs pull up, tighten. So the arms, the traps can stay down as we inhale up. Good. And down. Good. Inhale up. And down. Take the arms up. 
back and around. Let's bring the feet in under our hips. You can always rock at any time to get your weight equally distributed. Push the hips forward, squeeze them, thighs pull up. Good. Inhale backwards. Exhale down. These might seem like they're rather simple, but they are powerful. Engage those abdominals to hold your arms. Bring those shoulder blades together and apart. Like someone has straps on your wrists pulling you apart. Together and apart. Together and apart. Pull down, arch back. Pull, breathe. Release your hands, engage your abs, come up. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, hands behind, hold them down, arch back. This time, hinge forward and lift. So the hands are lifted as much as they're comfortable for you. Release, bend your knees, round up, one vertebra at a time. Head comes up, arms come up, let's arch back and hold our breath. Tighten your abs, squeeze your glutes, exhale down. Let's take the hands out and rotate, rotate, rotate. Move those wrists, exhale, rotate outward. Hands forward, rotate, rotate. Good. Push down. Pull all the fingers up. Exhale down. Inhale up. If you're going to be on a computer a lot, you're using your hands a lot, I just whether you're gardening, doing carpentry, whatever you're doing, cooking. Let's take baby finger, one finger at a time. Like you're twisting a doorknob in an odd kind of way. Let's take it the other way. All the big palms are up. Pull those fingers in. Pull those fingers in. Pull those fingers in. Good. One, two. Flex those wrists like you're wiping sponges up and down a wall. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You let your forearm actually get used. Get, let your forearm tighten a bit. And shake. Out. Let's touch, 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 touch. Good. We're going to roll the thumb around in the thumb joint. One way and then the other. Just the thumb. And we're going to take that first finger, roll it out. Engage your abs, feet on your feet. Squeeze your glutes. Good, that middle finger, roll it around. <laughs> Good. The next, the ring finger, which is very, very odd to move. Focus on it. And then the baby finger. Shake them out. Good. Back to my mat. Hand out. Gently draw the fingers out. Engage the abs. They're still zipped. The glutes are gently squeezed. The thighs are holding me up in a strong mountain position. Why? Do these isolating movements, isolations. Other left hand, draw those fingers down. You can take it, actually you can do one finger at a time if you wish, a little, little extra. One finger at a time. Notice all these different muscles, tiny little muscles that we often forget. Shake them out. Fist that right hand and now draw it down. Engage your abs, don't forget. Pull up on your thighs, squeeze your glutes. Strong mountain pose as we move. Good. Breathe. Fist the other hand and draw it down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Good. Let's take our arms. Form is parallel to the ground. Elbows connected to our sides. Abs pulled up, good squeeze, thighs, open those shoulders, open. So easily they can curl in. To open them, we have to engage the abdominals, which allows the shoulders to relax. You might feel yourself forcing that opening a little bit to open your chest because these muscles become short 
When we don't use our abs, we lean forward a lot, these get shortened. We use our abs, we lift, and we get to stretch them, stretch them. In fact, let's do that. Open them out, open your shoulders, holding one, two, breathing, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Open them, hold your abs, glutes and thighs. One, two, three. Use those abdominals so your shoulders can open without the abdominals holding our bodies up. They can't. Good. Now we're going to work the relax that forearm, which we just worked. So hands are up and down. Remember the elbows are in, the forearm is parallel to the ground. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. In. Take it slow. You don't need to jerk those wrists. Palms up. Inhale. Exhale. And if your hands were inside a soccer ball, you could feel the inside edge of that curvature of that soccer ball with your fingertips. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Palms down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Engage your abs, thighs, and glutes. They can, we can forget to use them. Wow. Now, why have we worked the hands and the forearms and the shoulders so much? We use them <laughs> constantly. So, now we need to work the toes and the foot. If you're standing on your feet a lot, first of all, I presume and hope that you're not going to be wearing high heels because that really throws the body off, throws those hips out of alignment. But let's pick up the heel on the right foot. Don't let the ankle go out. Keep it in straight ahead. You can use a support, a wall, a chair, and bend your knees not in, straight ahead. Not in, straight ahead. Press into those, the ball of the foot and the toes. Come up, bring the heel down, and then exhale. Both heels down. Inhale, heel up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. You can hold on if you wish, and down. Inhale, up. Exhale. We're taking the time to care about those small little muscles and bones. Exhale. Come up on both feet. Now, lift the left heel, press into the toes. Don't let that hip relax or you get really wobbly. Tighten the glute, engage the abs, use support as needed so you can keep erect the body. Remember that we don't take the ankle out, it's straight ahead, knee is straight ahead. Exhale, exhale as you go down, inhale, exhale, both heels down. Inhale, heel up, exhale, inhale up, exhale. Good, let's stay with both ankles bent and inhale up. Now let's sit down and put the feet together. Let's sit in a chair. Now we tighten our abs. If your shoulders are lifting, they're tight, then bring them down a little. So you can pull them into your back rather than up, down, rather than forward, back. Use the abs. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale, exhale, good, inhale. Let's take the arms in a swan dive and bend the knees forward. Tighten your abdominals, zip them up from the pubic bone to the sternum. We gently pull them in and up and down. Now let's take the feet turned out. Yeah. Now as we've, we've been sitting a lot, our hips get stiff, tight in one position. Or if we're standing a lot, there's a lot of weight into those hip joints and they get compressed and tired. So we want to open them. So we're rocking them side to side. Squeeze each opposite glute, squeeze, Squeeze, rock it, and we feel that again. Tightness in those front muscles. Good. Now we're going to take the knees 
Feet are turned out to the edges of the mat, and the knees go straight out. Now that, be aware that it's, when our hips are tight, we want to do this, to take the pressure off. But rather than let your hips go out, go straight, even if it's a tiny bit, just a tiny band. But as soon as you start to tilt, stop, push those hips forward, and rotate. It's almost like you're cranking, like this is the top of a jar, and you're cranking your leg, a lid off a jar. Crank it this way, crank it this way. And squeeze your glutes tight to come up. Inhale. Exhale. And up. Exhale. Tighten those abs. Squeeze glutes and come up. Squeeze the inner thigh. Down. Squeeze the inner thigh. Squeeze the glutes. Come up. Feel. Pick up your toes. Wiggle your toes a little bit. Put them back on the mat. Spread them apart. Feel. The toes, balls of the feet, heels really attached to the floor. You are grounded solidly on your feet. They're rolling in, notice. You don't want the weight in. They're rolling out, notice. Keep the weight equal across the ball of the foot and the heel. And go down again. Inhale. Let's go. Inhale up. Exhale. Let's go. Gently wrap the arms around, squeeze the thighs and the glutes up. And the abs continue to hold in place. Inhale up. Trying to open those hips. Rotate that spine. We've been, we've been sitting or standing. Rotate. Oh, yeah. Wrap those hands around your body. Inhale up. Exhale wrap. We're going to squeeze the inner thigh and X inhale up. Good. One more time. And up. Let's wiggle our feet apart. Bend. Wiggle them far enough apart so when you bend, bend that left knee, that knee is not in front of the ankle. Bring it all the way out and look down as your knee over your ankle. Good. Let's make this other foot parallel. Yes. This is our warrior stance. We're just going to do it simply. Move it out. If you want to deepen it, you might have to move the knee out. And straight. And open. And up. And you're going to feel the work happening in that inner thigh and the left glute. Keep those abs zipped up. And up. Let's take that left foot parallel, right foot parallel. Straight out, hips to knee. Bend, make sure your knee is over your ankle. Check, and up. Bend, and up. You can see a stretching and a strengthening and a stretching. And up. <laughs> Exhale, inhale, parallel. Now let's go back into that warrior two stand. Inhale, rotate your, just rotate your ribs and bring the arms up. Exhale, open. Inhale, up, rotate. Deep exhale, open. And look over your hand this time. Inhale, up, rotate. Exhale. And up. Left foot parallel, right foot turned out. Exhale, inhale up, rotate the rib cage. Exhale, open. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, open. Inhale, rotate. Exhale. Both feet parallel. Bring them in a little. Come forward and rock your hips side to side. Your hands can be, your knees can be bent. This is also when you can reach for a block. If your hamstrings are tight, then use your block so you can focus on wiggling your hips. Now that will give you some stretch down your hamstring, inner thigh, low back, hip joints, a lot of things. Get some stretch. Now, if you take your time, inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Well, it's very good for the back if you've been sitting or standing. We get that rounded, that compression. Our spaces between our vertebrae get pressed down from gravity pulling. We need to open those spaces, relax those back muscles. So we bend our knees and we tilt the tailbone and we inhale and arch. Breathe. You take the feet out to what it, turn them out and now keep them parallel. Keep breathing. All right, now inhale deeply. Then on the exhale, tuck your tailbone and round and push your shoulder blades up, up between your legs. Stay, breathe. Let's inhale and arch. Arching. Now, if you want to straighten the knees, if that feels good, or rocking a little, you can always play where it feels good on your muscles. Exhale, round. Look between your legs. Inhale, arch. Straighten those knees if you wish or not. Exhale, round. Good. Then hang. Tilt your tailbone up like you're going to go into cow, but instead you let your body drop. Tailbone's up. And relax. Knees can be bent, but breathe. This starts to stretch those hamstrings and the calves, which get tight and short when we sit a lot. And then that makes our shoulders hurt, believe it or not. You can notice I rock a lot. Good. All right. I'm going to face you. Because now we want to walk our bodies over towards the right leg. But you don't want to turn that left hip. You keep it back. You can bring your block. We're taking it slow today. We're going to, today is about getting the tightness out of our bodies and also the emotional tension that gets in our muscles. When we're anxious and worried or concerned, we tense and our muscles Hold on to it. So exhale it out of your mind and your body. Let's walk our bodies over to the left leg. And let's exhale. Tilt that tailbone up. Notice your knees can be bent. You can use a block. You can use the floor. Whatever, wherever you find the stretch is comfortable in your body. Be mindful of taking of self-care and self-awareness. That's what this is for. Good, let's come back to the center. You can bend your knees, you can use your block, tilt your tailbone up, rock. So many choices. But what feels good to your body, only you can know that. Now we bend. Inhale up, bend a little deeper. We're working on those outside ankles, so be gentle, notice. Does my ankle feel all right doing this? If not, do less. If you want to go all the way down, inhale up, exhale down. Use that block, exhale down. Inhale up, and always use different faces if you need a little bit higher. And up, good. Now we're going to rotate we're going to do a little more going into down dog. Bodies are a little warm. Let's gently bicycle. Good. Inhale the heels up. Push the shoulders back. Tilt the tailbone up. Drop the sternum. And then let the heels drop towards the floor. Let's bring the right foot forward, ankle under the knee, left knee down or up. Let's inhale the arm up. Now your body's beginning to feel a little more able to move. We've done a lot with the shoulders. See how that wrap feels. 
Does it feel good in your hip joints to drop a little or come up? Exhale. Look up. Open that shoulder, rotate the sternum. And if the left knee is up, let's bring it down. And we're going to work in that right hip flexor. Forward a little more. If you've been sitting any length of time, this is a great pose to release the tension in that left adductor. They shorten from our sitting. We come back, flex the foot, nose to mat. You've been standing, though, of course, if you're in a job where you can't get on the floor, this would be not possible, but when you can, round that back, open those vertebrae. Let the hamstring and calf stretch out. That's why we flex the foot. Inhale forward, let's lean forward into that hip flexor. And of course, if you want to bring the forearms down, and lean further, you have that choice. Inhale, exhale down. Let's one, nose to mat. And notice you're not even having to use your abdominals in these, isn't that nice? Forward, inhale, exhale, flexing. Good. Let's bring both knees under the hips, both hands under the shoulders, and let's do our cat cow again. Inhale and round. You really can't do enough of these. Exhale, arch. And these are excellent. This massages your digestive organs. It can really help with your digestion. Inhale. And elimination. Exhale, arch. Are your fingers spread apart? Palms weight into the palms. Inhale, round. Press those shoulder blades up. Exhale, arch. Inhale, round. Exhale, arch. Tighten the abs. Let's take that left arm, thread it under, sit back into child's pose and stretch that left shoulder up. Three nice big exhales. Let's come forward. Let's take the right arm, thread it under, sit back, stretch the right shoulder, turn your head to the right. Breathe. Good, let's come back up. Let's tuck our toes, spread those fingers, press the palms. Tuck the toes, lift the tailbone, press back. Down dog, remember to push your shoulders back, tilt your tailbone up, drop your sternum, and then your heels. Bicycle. One heel, then the other. Good, let's inhale. The left foot forward, ankle under the knee. Right knee down or up, and inhale the arm. And see how your left hip feels if you wrap the arm and drop, then come up, and down, exhale. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. And then rotate your sternum and your shoulder, look over your left shoulder. Breathe, you're stretching that right hip flexor. Put that right knee down if it's up and lean into that right hip flexor. You'll feel the tightness perhaps in your left hip as well. Inhale. Exhale, rock back. Flex the foot, nose to mat. You can be high. You can be low. And slow your inhale. Breathe into the tightness in your calf and your hamstring, your low back, your mid back. Exhale forward. Lean into that hip flexor. Bring the hands forward if you wish. Rock the forearms. 
Breathe. Nice big inhale. Nice slow exhale. Nice big inhale. Nice slow exhale. And let's walk back one more time. Flex the left foot. Let's come forward. Good. Let's engage our abdominals. Extend, flex that right leg, left hand out. And let's open. Bring it back. Knee to elbow. Exhale, extend. Knee to elbow. Keep those abdominals tight the whole time. In. Exhale. This is warming up, that juicing up your right hips and your shoulders, your back. Strengthening those back muscles, tighten your abs. Extend and down. Round in here. Exhale, arch. Inhale, round. Push the shoulder blades up. Exhale, arch. Tighten your abs, flat back. Weight into the right knee. Flex the left one. Tighten your abs. Tighten your left glute. Open if you wish. Tighten your abs. Inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, extend. In. Keep those abdominals working. Left glute working, abs and glute tighten, in, exhale, in, exhale, in, slow it down, exhale, in, let's do one more, nice slow, even flow, exhale, and down, good. Spread those fingers, use those palms, tighten your abs. Inhale, arch this time. Exhale, round, look between your thighs. Inhale, arch. And relax, good. Let's tuck our toes. We work the ankles some, but let's stretch that Achilles. your feet down, perhaps, or not, and lengthen up the spine, hands on the mat, come back up, let's inhale, round up, one vertebra at a time, and exhale down, good, all right, let's work those hamstrings a little bit more, they get tight from standing, and they get tight from sitting, <laughs> So let's take that right foot on the diagonal, left foot out. Knee stays straight, which is why the block is so helpful in the, these pose, triangle and revolve triangle, which is where we're headed. We're going to rotate the hips and inhale up. We're going to hinge, not going to round down. Straight back. Now put your hands on your thigh. Come on. Straight back, support it. And come on up. Good, straight back, keep going to where now the upper back rounds. Now you might be here or here. Keep that tailbone tilted here, maybe here. Let's inhale that. Right hand up into triangle. And our, um, what we want to do is turn the belly button and the sternum and open the shoulder. Feel that. Let your right arm come right across your chest and straight up. This right shoulder has to rotate into the back. Now we have to separate the shoulder blades. Breathe. Nice big inhale, 
Nice big exhale. Feel free to be using your block. The block allows, gives us a leverage to rotate around the spine, which we really always want to do. We also want to take this hip and tilt it up, as opposed to being rounded. If we're rounded, then let's come up higher and lengthen that middle to low back. Strengthen those muscles. Good job. Let's go down. Right hand on the block, left hand up, or the floor. And exhale down. Good. Come up, engage your back, inhale up, and open. Let's turn the right foot, left foot on the diagonal, right foot open. And bring your block by the right foot. Three faces, your choice, or no block at all. Let's rotate the rib hips. Inhale up. Abs are engaged. As we tilt forward, remember, tilt, not round. Tilt. Lengthen. Open those shoulders. Remember, we got foreshortened in here from sitting or rounding, sitting and leaning forward a lot. Up, we keep stretching, opening the chest, and down. You can use the block. We do want to keep the knee straight. Even if I'm here and I'm really tight in my back and my leg, then I come up and I lengthen. You can even use a table or a chair. Most important is to Pay attention, become mindful of what muscles got short because of what we were, how we were using our bodies and how they pull on our joints and make them ache or hurt or feel so stiff like we can't move. That's the, that's the secret. Okay. Right hand on your block or your shin or the floor and inhale into triangle. Again, belly button, sternum. Shoulders, look up. That left arm comes right across the chest and out. The shoulder's not forward, it's rolled into the back, and then we separate the shoulder blades. Lovely. Exhale, left hand down, right hand up, revolve triangle. Exhale down. Let's bring both feet forward. Oh, well, that's fine. Bend our knees, round up one vertebra at a time. Roll those shoulders, hold. Zip the abs so your body is still and you can move the shoulders. Good. Let's bring one foot in, bend the other. And we'll do some balance. Balance helps us become aware of being in the moment. Our mind can't go other, other places and maintain balance so well. It also helps us notice, are my abs zipped? Are my glutes squeezing? Are my thighs pulling up? So I can shift my weight. Let's just shift into the left foot. Shift into the right. Squeeze this glute, pull up on this thigh. Shift, abs, maintain a zip. Squeeze the glute, squeeze the thigh as you shift your weight. Squeeze the glute, pull up on the thigh as you rock your weight from one foot to the other. Practice using the glute and the thigh, keeping the abs zipped. Good. And let's take our weight into the right foot. Glute, and thigh, and abs. Foot is in. Let's keep it straight ahead. Inhale up. Now you can always use support. So you can practice learning how are those muscles working. Tighten your abs, zip them up. Tighten your right glute. Tighten your thigh. Let's exhale the hands to prayer position. Flex the left foot and draw the knee up. Stare a spot. Become aware of how much work glute and thigh are doing. 
Open the shoulders. That requires those abs to stay very active. And down. Let's shift our weight, glute and thigh. Shift your weight, glute and thigh tighten. Shift your weight, glute and thigh tighten. Keep it there. Bring the foot in, inhale up. Hands come down into prayer position. Zip those abs to inhale the foot up. Exhale, open the shoulders and really tight engage those, zip those abs. Stare to spot. And down. Rock and tighten the glute and the thigh. Rock, tighten the glute and the thigh. Inhale, exhale, tighten. Inhale, exhale, tighten. Inhale, walk back. Let's turn the foot out now. You may notice that requires more tightening of the under area of the glute. You might feel it in your adductor working. Abs have to stay lifted, shoulders have to stay open. Inhale up, stare to spot, exhale. If you wish to hold on to something, feel free. Lift the toes. Ask your brain to notice what's happening in my right glute, right thigh, by lifting up with my abs. Otherwise, I'm going to fall into that hip and lose my balance. Lift up those abs. Come to the calf. Lift with those abs. Come to the inner thigh if you wish. Push that heel into the thigh. Lift up your spine. Use the back muscles, the abs. Inhale up. Blossom. Exhale down. Inhale, rock. Glute and thigh. Inhale, rock. Glute tightens. Thigh pulls up. Abs stay zipped. Rock into the left. Glute. Thigh. Turn out. Tighter glute. Zip up so we're not falling into the hip. Use those abs. Lift the upper body weight out of that hip flexor, out of that hip. It'll feel so much better. It'll be happier. And exhale down. Tighten those abs so you can open your shoulders. Tighten. Hold. Use a wall or a chair. Feel free. And lift the toes. Stare to spot. Feel that glute. Make your mind notice. Oh, am I falling and feeling tense in this hip flexor? Lift with the abs. Mindful of a beautiful body that is constructed just for you. If you wish, you can come to the inner thigh. Push that heel, right heel, into the left thigh. Flat of the foot. Whoops. Mindful to use my glute, my thigh, and my abs. Inhale to tree. And blossom. Exhale down. All this conscious, slow movement, tighten the glutes, abs are lifted. Exhale down. It can be exhausting on your muscles. It's hard. It's good strengthening work. Let's cross. If you wish, leave the foot front. If you wish, bring forward the block. And now go ahead and tilt your hips up and head down. And let gravity now stretch out your glutes, your back, your neck. Breathe. Nice big exhales. Make room for nice big inhales. Let's inhale, put weight in both feet, round up one vertebra at a time. Inhale up, bend both knees, tighten your abs, zip them up. Low abs working, left thigh working. You can lift. The right toe is off the ground. You can hold on to something. You can cross and sit. And stare at the spot. Mm -hmm. 
Engage the abs. Left glutes working, left thigh. Breathe. Just inhale up. And exhale through peanut butter or jello. Tighten the thighs. Engage the abs just a little so the shoulders can stay open rather than down. Open. Inhale up. Cross. Or bring the foot forward. Bring your block to if you need the extra support. Let's bring it in front. Feel free to use any face. Tilt that tail on up. You can even rock in, the, in any pose if it feels good on your hips, your low back. Breathe. Nice big exhale. Nice deep inhale. Slow exhale. Keep breathing. Let gravity draw on the weight of your head into the floor, lengthening your vertebrae, separating your vertebrae, upper back and neck. Now let's inhale and round up one vertebra at a time. Arms come up, chin comes up. We engage the abs, sip them. We sit, but the weight is held in the right thigh, right glute. You can lift the toes. Cross and sit. Stare at a spot. Keep the chest lifted. Breathe. And let's come up. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale through peanut butter and jello. Exhale. We haven't spent any time on the mat. Let's go down. Let's take the left leg out and flexed. Flexed right foot into the inner thigh. Flush out from the sits bones. Inhale out and up. This is also opens that right hip. Lengthens the hamstring. Separates the vertebrae. Massages the organs as we rotate. And down. Breathe. Inhale up. Lengthening from the tailbone up your spine, up the top of your head. And also lengthen the left leg. Pull it out. Push it out. Exhale out and down. Breathe. Let's inhale, right hand up. Exhale, thread it under the left. Get some rotation in the spine. Inhale up. Exhale, thread. Inhale up. Left arm in front, right arm over. Use your right forearm to gently rotate you. You can reach the toes. You can wrap two fingers around the toes or not. And let's inhale. Bring the foot in. Let's extend the right leg. Bring the flexed left foot into the thigh. Flesh out from the sits bones. Flex. Tighten that thigh. Do we lengthen that right leg? Inhale out and up. Take the lower back forward, not rounded. Forward. Then Breathe. Ask your brain to notice. Do you feel this in your hip? Good. Breathe into it. Fill it with air like a balloon. And on the exhale, let your hip relax a little. Feeling it in the back, low back, mid back. Inhale. Lengthen the leg. Lengthen up the spine. Use these muscles. Strengthen those low mid back muscles. And exhale up and down. Breathe. Let's inhale the left hand up to the ceiling and exhale thread. Inhale up. Exhale thread. 
Inhale up, right arm in front, let that forearm gently rotate you. Bring the other arm over. Perhaps the fingers will reach the toes or not. Let's inhale up. Bring those feet forward. Now let's bring the bottoms of the feet together. Come forward. <coughs> Inhale, bring the palms to the tops of the shins. Relax the traps. Inhale, up the stomach, lift the sternum and the mid chin and arch back. Exhale, round, push the belly button back and round forward deeply. Starting low, lengthen. Inhale, open those thighs. Inhale up, arch back, and relax and round and flow into the shoulder. Inhale up, oh, up on that low back, middle back. Lift the sternum and the chest, relax, pull those shoulders down and away from your ears. Exhale, round, push the belly down and back. Good, let's come up. Let's bring one foot in front, one in, and then the other. If you wish to go to a half lotus, you may. Good, let's inhale up. And let's rotate one hand in front, one behind. Inhale up the spine, and exhale, look over your left shoulder. Nice big inhale. This is great to do if you've been sitting a lot or standing, always trying to separate those vertebrae and get them to rotate. Open those shoulders, lift the sternum as opposed to rounded. Come on, use your block so you can open the shoulder. Good. Let's inhale up. Let's rotate the other way. Inhale up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder. Open the shoulder. Nice big inhale, up the body. Exhale, rotate. And come back. Good, let's lean forward. Exhale, forward. Foot can be in front or on top. You may feel this in your hip, your left hip. Inhale into your left hip, fill it with air like a balloon. And on the exhale, let it go. Let's walk our bodies up. Let's bring the bottoms of the feet together, round forward. Inhale up and arch back with the sternum and the chin. Round, relax forward. Let's finish with the other side. Left foot in. Right foot in front. If you wish you can go to half lotus or not. Good. Let's inhale, arms up. And exhale, rotate once again. Inhale up. Breathing into those hips if they feel tight. Exhale, letting all the air out. Inhale up. Exhale, rotate. Lift the elbows, reverse, yeah. inhale up, exhale, rotate, inhale up, exhale, fingertips to fingertips, let's exhale forward, and again, we can be on the mat or up, exhale forward. Breathe into that right hip, fill it with air. Low back, mid back. Exhale, release. Walk our bodies up. Good. Let's remember that we can help ourselves if we're sitting a lot or standing a lot. Shake the legs out. Let's get that flesh out from the sits bones. Inhale and exhale down. Let's draw the right foot in. Exhale and open. Both feet are flexed. Let's take the left arm down the center of the body across. Relax the right foot. Pull that heel towards the center and down. 
of your left leg, and then let that right knee drop towards the floor. It might speed up. Again, you'll notice how those hip flexors have gotten extra tight. This helps loosen them. Also helps loosen your left shoulder. Right arm on the floor, palm up. Focus your attention on the slow, even inhale. A nice deep exhale. And as you exhale, relax that hip flexor. Let the right knee drop ever so slightly further towards the floor. Inhale into the left shoulder. All the structures, all the muscles. And on the exhale, let it go. Breathe. Inhale into the right hip flexor, left shoulder. And on the exhale, gently press your right knee towards your left leg. Just gently towards. Let's take the right hand down the center of the body. Grab for the ankle, flex the left right foot, or grab the outside if you can, and let that right knee drop down towards the back wall like an arrow. Extend that right leg. Don't let it hang in the air. Lengthen it. Tighten the thigh. Use the hamstring. Stretch that left foot long. Breathe. Relax your shoulders. And focus on a nice deep inhale. And a nice slow exhale. Nice deep inhale. Nice slow exhale. Good. Let's release the foot. Inhale the right foot up. Exhale it out and in. Let's inhale the left knee in. Both feet are flexed. Draw the knee in. Lengthen that right leg. Keep it lengthening on the floor. Exhale. Left knee open. Right arm on the floor. Palm. Breathe. Let's take the right arm down the center of the body across the ankle. Now you relax the foot. If you can, you grab the outside of the foot. Draw that left heel towards the center of the right leg. Heel comes down. And left knee drops down towards the floor. Left hand on the floor, palm up. And breathe into that left hip flexor. Fill it with air. On the exhale, let it relax. Breathe into the right shoulder. Inhale. You might find yourself adjusting, getting your body straight, finding where the muscles have gotten tight and caused misalignment. Listen to those muscles. Notice. They tell us. They tell us where we're holding stress, and they tell us when we've been sitting or standing too much. Breathe. Good. Let's take the left hand down the center of the body. Grab the ankle or the outside of the left foot. It is flexed. Let the knee drop back like an arrow. Let the right leg stretch on the floor. Right leg on the Right hand on the floor, palm up. Breathe into your left shoulder, fill it with air. Left hip, lengthen the low back, the hip flexor on the right. On the exhale, relax. Nice big inhale, extend that right leg on the floor. Lengthen the low back and feel a stretch down the front. Let's release that left foot up to the ceiling. Inhale and exhale it out and in. Good. Now let's inhale. Both knees up towards the armpits. Hands down the center of the body. Reach for the ankles or the outside of the feet. Draw the feet up. Drop the tailbone. 
I will turn sideways so you can see the feet go up, the tailbone drop, and then rock side to side in happy baby pose. And simply think again of that light flowing into your brain, forebrain, center of your brain, old brain, on down into your heart. And then all throughout your body to every organ of the body, the soothing sensation of the rocking flows and into every cell of your body. Every cell relaxes like it's being calmed and soothed. And now let's bring the bottoms of the feet together and the palms up and everything floats down to the mat. Wiggle your shoulder blades apart. Feel free to extend one leg and then the other into corpse pose at any time. And close your eyes. Let your eyes fall back into your eye sockets. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. And be like a pat of butter on warm hot cake melting into the floor. Now, if you begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, wiggle your fingers and your toes, bring your focus back to the room. Feel free to move your body any way it so desires. And then if you'd like, roll to one side in fetal position to gather your energy. Then let's bring ourselves back up to a seated position. And let's inhale together.
Namaste, my friends. Go with love, light, delight, and compassion. And thank you for sharing your yoga with me today. Namaste. Thank you. 